Good evening, everyone. I'm happy to introduce our speaker, founder of Noble Transformation Hub, self-taught computer scientist and artificial intelligence scientist and super conscious expert who worked with global Fortune 500 company, General Electric and Wipro Technologies. He has been doing transformation skills development programs and research on business case studies, 21st century skills, future skills and technology research from the last 14 years globally. He has done 400 plus business and technology trainings, programs from Harvard Medical School and Harvard University, other organizations. He spent around $75,000 on his career and courses, certifications and global project based skills. He has been doing research on computer architecture, quantum computing, artificial intelligence, blockchain and future technologies. He believes in win win decision making and achieves the goals, objectives as per the lifelong vision. Also, he is an active athlete. He has been participating in Wipro runs and other marathons for the last 10 years. I humbly welcome Dr. Noble Arya, sir, starting this event, Reinforcement Learning Use Cases, organized by AI and Robotics Club. Now I request everyone to keep yourself muted. And at the end of the session, we will have the Q&A. Thank you, sir. I hand it over to you now. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And I, 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 I'm really honored to uh, share my experience and skills and knowledge with you guys because you are future leaders and uh, we all need to work towards uh, this mission to create uh, new innovative technologies, applications, projects and all these things. Okay. Industry automation, there are like in industry, it is also applied. You can see in, in automobile, like robots are manufacturing um, cars themselves through machine learning. Okay. Okay. And industry automation with reinforcement learning. In industry, reinforcement learning based robots are used to perform various tasks. Okay. Apart from the fact that these robots are more efficient than human beings. That is truth. You know, why we human beings are like, there was a champion, a Go champion. He lost the game, Go. And the chess we have lost. We are not so efficient because we have not explored our, we've always seen life outside. We've never seen our life inside. We have not explored ourselves. We have not transformed ourselves. It's, it's transforming first our body, our, our self. Know thyself, who thyself. You know why I am pursuing AI plus super consciousness? Why I'm doing that? Because I want to understand first myself. And then I will be able to transfer that win-win and uh, that serving humanity concept through my actions and my technology or intelligence. Okay. So we need to do, we need to understand first ourselves. When we understand ourselves, what will happen? We'll understand the whole universe. Okay. So why these robots are or these machines are efficient than human beings what is the problem and the, this is the this this gap uh, there's a thread that humanity like we are thinking that after 200 years or sometime so humanity will not like will have very less population will uh, like a lot of people will lose jobs 50 percent uh, until 2030 50 percent people will lose jobs and you guys are the leaders right now in this class, whosoever is actively listening, you know, you guys are going to change whether you are, you are one person or you are 40 or 20 or 10, whatever number is there. Okay. You guys are going to be leaders from India. And I think you guys, you guys are the leaders because AI is fourth industrial revolution. 16 US dollar, 16 trillion US dollar economy. 
and if india wants to be superpowers india wants to um, do anything and this is the time if we don't do anything right now we'll never do anything this is the time this is the super time and this is the time to put the seeds in the soil right now and this is what we are doing right now you need to have vision you need to learn technology properly you need to know yourself and then create win win technologies okay i was talking about why human beings are not efficient because we've not transformed ourselves we don't know okay we don't know ourselves if i don't know myself how can i know ai technology or mba class there's no sense we need to understand ourselves first and when we understand ourselves what will happen we can robot it is a very easy job to control a robot a robot cannot have an infinite consciousness but we can learn that and through that we can do infinite creativity we will have infinite life okay so there are some examples is the use of ai agent by deep mind to cool google data center you know see now ai agent has through reinforcement learning they have they in deep mind they they the cost of electricity went 40% down uh, because they used ai reinforcement learning this is the potential you can see right okay they led 40% reduction in energy okay this uh, the center are now fully controlled with ai systems without need of human intervention why will need humans then because see why we do any task because uh, because uh, human beings were efficient earlier now human beings are not efficient and if we are not doing right now for this thing we are not learning super conscious and we are not learning um all the aspects holistic uh, a real education what will happen that ai all these algorithms will take our jobs it's it's there that's why we need to be entrepreneurs we need to be creators okay we need to create why can't we create google in india we have to think big we have to think bigger than google we have to think bigger than apple we have to think bigger than uh, um uh, spacex why can't we create a private spacecraft company in india why can't we do that why can only uh, elon musk can like he can do that think about these questions okay okay let's let's go to the other section which is like there are obvious still super super visions that data center expert like the systems work in uh, following way so let's go to that okay taking snapshot about data from the data center every 5 minutes okay feeding uh, this to deep neural network it then uh, predicts uh, how different combination will affect future energy consumption identifying action that will lead to minimal power consumption it is an example of google how it is done uh, how deep deep mind that the, the reinforcement learning is used in the, uh, google and then what happens after that like what are the algorithms how they do it then there will be coding and applic that 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 is okay but these are the steps like identifying action that will lead to minimal power consumption while maintaining a set of standards safety criteria and implementing these actions at data center the actions are verified by local control system okay and this is this, this is very deep and and it should be deep if we because see ai algorithms machine learning they are very deep insanely they are deep and human beings are just they they even don't calculate and make decision so that is the main difference and uh,